Okay, just kidding. I'm here still. I'm leaving tomorrow. It's Tuesday. I thought they would scare you a little bit that I wasn't on there. You're like, what kind of screencast is this? But it's really just me. I was just hiding. So you can see the picture that my kid painted of my mom and dad. And my blanket in my chair. Sometimes it's cold in my chair. I made this little desk office area kind of by my back door. And it's, my desk is really messy right now because I didn't get very much done today. And it's kind of oh, creepy. Um, okay, but today we're going to talk about logos. I really love talking about logos. There's a lot of resources. So I'm actually going to show you a few resources. Don't get mad at me, but there's a ton. So, okay. So today you're going to have like lots of things to think about tomorrow, um, Friday, actually, um, Friday, you're going to talk about SEO, um, which is like th not the best spot to talk about SEO, except I think you need it when you're developing your brand. So it's a little bit off of what we're talking about. That's okay. So we're gonna talk about SEO and Friday, you don't have a lot of work to do, just some thinking to do. So Friday, you're gonna have time to work on your logo and your brand and Tuesday, you're gonna have time to work on them. So don't feel super overwhelmed with all the content I'm giving you because you will have like work days built in. Check the outline. I'm cha I've changed it a little bit, but just check the outline. Um, okay, so let's talk about logos for a little bit. And logos are just like the, the symbol, like we talked about in the last screencast, <laughs> like the McDonald's arches, or the Chick-fil-A um, little symbol. So this, it's yeah, here's the actual definition, a graphic mark, emblem, or symbol that you want, like everyone wants to be the McDonald's arches because everybody recognizes them. Sometimes it includes the name. Um, this Evolution of Brands is such a cool video. It's only three minutes, and it just shows like what brands have done over time. It's really, really funny. I always show that one. Um, these are the best logos of all time. So I'm just going to show you a couple of these visuals because it's so fun. To think about i could do a screencast for 30 minutes on this i know roll your eyes it's gonna be great um so oh are you kidding me i just was on this today and disabled it sorry this is super embarrassing okay not really um okay so some really iconic logo is obviously Ford and um, kind of like the mission statement. Sometimes people spend like a year rebranding or redesigning their logos. Um, check out the evolution of the Starbucks logo. That's super interesting. It's on that video. Um, Playboy. This is like the 10 most hated logos and what they taught us. Um, this is really funny. I actually remember when this one came out. Entertaining TV logos of all time. Greatest comic logos of all time, Olympic Games logos, top 10 logos of all time, obviously, Nike, the Nike swoosh. I don't know. Did you read that article? I think they spent, um, they, yeah, $35 for the logo. That's crazy. I thought it was $23. Um, Woohoo. And there's more on here. So take a look at that. IBM so fun looking at all these i just like i just could talk about these forever actually there's some really fun sites where you can look at like the deep meaning behind logos there's a reason this is red there's a reason it's round there's a reason this is blue and this font that they chose so we'll talk a little bit about that so take a look at those <laughs> most iconic logos of all time i will i'll just keep moving on because i'm already at four minutes so take a look at those um these are logo maker ideas. I put some resources on all of these slides. What makes a great logo? Please look at both, both of these um, for resources. Normally in class, I would go through them with you and we would spend a couple of days on this, but you have to do it on your own. This is a great TED. It's only five minutes on how to create a great brand. So that kind of goes back to yesterday with branding. Um, and then I just put this here as a reminder. So every single iteration, draft, design that you do of your logo um, I want you to save it. So snip it, take a picture of it, put it in your doc or wherever you're saving things so we can see how you've evolved with your logo. So in your mood board, in your notebook, if you're artistic or in your slideshow, you can kind of show the evolution of it. So I'm kind of excited to see what you decide to do. And um, when you create your logo, I want you to use all of these links. So spend time on those links. Just don't do it from your head because you have to actually in your rubric, if you remember, rationalize everything that you do. 
So you can create your logo with any tool that you can find. And most of these are super helpful. I don't know what you have access to, but you can hand draw it if you want to. Um, there's a Canva logo creator and Canva's become super easy to use. Not Canva, Canva. Um, logo maker, I haven't used that for a couple of years. And then here's some other um, resources for you on the design process, color, font, um, essential rules of logo design, designing logos that don't suck, I don't like that word. Um, logo inspirations, please, please, please look at all of these. Um, there's just a lot of great information. And we're gonna talk about the psychology of color. That's actually in a future slide. So if you're worried about what color you're gonna do, look ahead and you can look at the psychology of color because um, there's a lot of great information on that. It's super fun to look at that. Okay, slide away on your logo. Make your logo safe. There we go. Okay, um, so create two to three different drafts of your logo with and share them with a classmate or a friend or a family member. Explain your mission, your purpose, your voice of your brand. Um, ask them specific questions like, what do you think about the design? What would you do differently? What color do you think looks good? Um, and think about the psychology behind it and what your target market wants, the lines and the shapes of it, and then keep your feedback in your doc or your notebook. So that'll be part of your presentation as well. So share it, ask for feedback. This does not need to be in your slideshow that you're doing on Friday. This can just be in your notes. You don't need to share that yet with me. Um, so keep that in mind. Okay. Um, so take a look at all those resources and then we'll be talking about SEO. Um, and then you'll have time to work. So enjoy. I will talk to you very soon. Have a great day.